it's Marie from Dangan Library here and today we're going to read a lovely story called The Book Collector and it's written by Alex G. Griffiths and it's published by Anderson Press. So what's this book all about? Well it's about a little boy called George who loves bugs. Today was George's favourite day of the whole week. It was Sunday and that meant he was going on an adventure with Grandad. This particular Sunday Grandad took George to... Where did they go? Hmm, I wonder. The Museum of Wildlife. Inside they saw ferocious dinosaurs, wondrous whales, massive mammoths and even stranger creatures of every colour and shape. But Grandad didn't stop to look at any of it. He was too excited about something completely different. The creatures he wanted to show George were much smaller and stranger, and Grandal loved them. On the journey home, George could think of nothing else but the marvellous bugs he had seen that day. That night, George's dreams were filled with buzzing bees, floating butterflies and sliding snails. When he woke up, George couldn't wait to get outside. He packed his rucksack and headed out to see what he could find. He's so excited. Just look at him packing all his things. I wonder what he's going to do. In the garden, he noticed bugs everywhere. Something fluttered past George's face. He tried to catch it. Oh, look, it's a lovely butterfly. But it was too quick for him. Catching bugs was not as easy as George had thought. They were so clever. They always seemed to know what he was going to do. George had to learn to be even more cunning to outwit them. Soon he was a master bug catcher. Well look at him here now. He has a net and some kind of a, a spring to catch that little butterfly up on the roof. With his rucksack and cart full up, George set off for his treehouse. Oh look, his cart is all full of jars and bottles full of little bugs. After he'd found a place for every bottle and jar, George admired his collection. Oh, he's very pleased with himself, isn't he? Examining them closely, he saw so many different shapes and colours. Oh dear, that little butterfly doesn't look so happy. Look at his sad face. As George went home for dinner, everything seemed silent and still. Nothing buzzed, fluttered or scuttled. Oh look, there's George coming down from his treehouse. That's a lovely treehouse, isn't it? The next day, he went back to the garden to continue the hunt. But everywhere was dull and sad. Grandad was also wondering what was going on. He knew something didn't seem right. Suddenly, Grandad realised all the books were gone. Back at the treehouse, George looked at his collection. The bugs didn't look so happy. Oh, that poor butterfly. He looks like he's going to cry. Grandad wasn't happy either when he saw what George had been doing. He loved bugs as much as George, but he knew that living ones shouldn't be kept in jars and bottles. Grandad explained to George the important jobs that bugs have in the outside world, especially in our gardens. Bees help to make lots of new flowers by carrying pollen from one to the other. Ladybirds are great altogether. They help plants by eating up to 500 aphids a day. Aphids there, green fly. You know, you see them sometimes on rose bushes. Ants are natural farmers, carrying seeds and planting them in new places. Dung beetles turn waste into food. So if you have a compost heap, that's what's going on. The beetles and the worms are turning it all into food and giving it back to the earth. And of course, all the insects are important as part of the natural food chain. If we take them away, a lot of animals won't get any dinner. George listened carefully. He knew what he had to do. He opened the jars, the bottles, the windows and the doors and the bugs all flew out. The sky was alive again. George was sad to see them go. But Grandel was smiling. He had an idea. Look at all the little insects. 
back out in the garden, don't they look all so much happier than inside in a jam jar? It took a little while, but together they changed the garden into a book sanctuary to share with everybody. Look, they put up a great big sign. George's great big bug world. And he has all sorts of little things that help the bugs. Granda and George agreed that watching bugs in their natural habitat was the very best thing in the world. Do you know, and that's something we can all do. We can all go on a fine day and just sit in the garden and see what's out there to look at. The end.